Hi everyone. I got a quite a few requests for me to do a video on how to cook what we call locally olua, which is a kind of uh, oyster omelette but it's, uh, it has a starchy element in it. So I can't really give you the exact English word for it, but let us start the preparation. What I have here is a packet of uh, frozen oysters. If you can get fresh one, that is also uh, even better. But uh, for, for most of the people, it's quite convenient these days to buy frozen oysters. And for this dish, frozen oysters is uh, well accepted. So. After that, what you need to do is just to thaw them and probably you need between uh, 10 to 15 uh, pieces of uh, oysters for this recipe depending how much you love oysters. So I'm making a dish today that is uh, good for two person. The first thing that I want to do with the oysters is that to put uh, about a teaspoon of salt this is not to season the oyster but mainly to salt like uh, um, I would say cleanse it to wash it because it's actually quite slimy so to get away the extra slimes and um, to get away some of the maybe very very fishy smell using salt itself is uh, good to do that this is something that I learned from the Japanese and I'm applying uh, this method into it as you can see the oysters is um, sort of like start to excrete uh, more of this uh, slime like thing which um, then we will wash it off with uh, clean water and put the oysters aside before the actual cooking. Just now we have prepared the basic ingredients for this recipe so now we are getting ready to cook firstly just put the tapioca rice flour and a little bit of salt mixture into a bowl important is to follow the instructions about 100 milliliters of water and then uh, do mix it well so that uh, don't, don't leave any uh, lumps in this particular solution for this dish you will need a fair bit of oil so for the be in the beginning I'll put in about 5 tablespoons of uh, oil get it heated up okay the amount of oil um, that is used is because that I want the, the, um, the starch um, texture to be more crispy first we will put in that starch solution do not pour in all at one time but um, do it scoop by scoop This time do not flip the mixture just let it um, just let it cook and uh, observe the color of the mixture we want the base to be crispy and um, it's advisable to use a non-stick non-stick pan because it's easier to manage 
and I'm not breaking up the, this uh, starch first till much later so what I'm going to do is just to leave it as it is and let the side fry till it's crispy I will then now add half of the egg mixture that we have uh, made earlier on just half on this side right try to spread out I will add the rest of the egg on this side you can see that it's very crispy because um, we let it um, sort of like a fried on one side for between three to five minutes so a lot of patience is needed uh, to leave it alone okay, now I feel that I should break it up because I want to enjoy this dish with the sides being crispy so you don't have to break it into small pieces probably big pieces like this so just to have the edge crispy and cooking the oysters you should not take more than 30 seconds put in the oysters then add about between half to one uh, tablespoon of that uh, mixture fish sauce mixture that we have made Smells really good. One of our favorite local dish in Singapore. Um, I'm, I'm someone who loves the that starch, starch thing we call lo over here, and I love it when it's sticky and crispy on the edges. And um, this is the chili that we have made. This is so good. Even this is frozen oysters. I would say the quality is not bad. Take the oysters, parsley, and the starch. Three in one. Put in the chili. Mmm. This is so so good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Oloa or oyster omelette with starch. If you like a little bit less uh, starchy or gluey, you can actually use uh, cornstarch. But however, I prefer the tapioca starch because I love the gluey uh, texture. And um, if you do not like it to be too crispy, then you can adjust your timing when you are frying that uh, uh, mixture. So overall, it's a very simple dish to make, but you just need to follow the instructions. And if you are cooking more, then you can adjust to the ratio as well. So I hope that you like this uh, recipe and give it a try and share with me and comment uh, if without, with your own, own version of your Oloa or the oyster uh, omelette with starch. Till then, I will see you again.